Here we have two equilateral triangles, ABC and CDE. We have a quarter of a circle here that goes through points B and D. And we know the distance between point B and point D, which is 2. And we ask to find the radius of this circle. The trick in solving this problem is to continue drawing line BC until it intersects the circle at point F. And the next thing we want to do is to connect point D and F. Notice that DF is at 90 degrees to CE. In fact, CDEF is a quadrilateral which is actually a rhombus. Notice that angle C here, ACB, is a part of a equilateral triangle, so it's 60 degrees. The angle ECF right here is a vertical angle to this 60 degree angle, so it also has to be 60 degrees. Now look at this orange triangle. That is a right triangle, one angle is 90 degrees, one angle of 60 degrees here, so this angle CFD should be 30 degrees. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to connect the center of a circle point O and points B and D. And now notice, the angle BFD is an inscribed angle in the circle, and angle BOD is a central angle that corresponds to that inscribed angle. And we know that inscribed angle is half of the central angle. And since inscribed angle is 30 degrees, central angle should be 60 degrees. Now notice that BO and OD are radii. So BOD is an isosceles triangle, which has a 60 degree angle. And therefore it means that the rest of the angles are also 60 degrees. And we are dealing with equilateral triangle. So BO equals OD and equals to BD, which is 2, and that's the final answer for the radius.